All right. Welcome to Funday Monday, Fund It Forward, April 2021. You know, we've come a long way since the phone book days, haven't we? We sure have, haven't we? <laughs> the question this month was, the first phone books were missing which information? Step-by-step -step instructions, last names, business names, or actual phone numbers? The answer was D, actual phone numbers. And it seemed like most people were getting that one right. It wasn't too tricky, I don't think, this time. No, it yeah, wasn't. Not, not too tricky, but... You know, the first phone book was invented less than two years after Alexander Graham Bell invented the device, which is pretty interesting. It is. Mm -hmm. And this first telephone book was nothing more than a sheet of cardboard and hmm. published November 1878. In 2008, a copy of the book made headlines when it was sold at auction for $170,500. Wow, that's that's a lot of money for a little piece of cardboard, but it's got a lot of history on it. It sure <laughs> does. Being the first phone book, that's a long, long time ago as well. So pretty incredible. Right. Well, you know, back in those early years, the phone book had instructions also on there explaining how a telephone was used People would speak into the wrong part of the phone, for example, then they would do a lot of funny things with it, I think, because they were just learning how to use a new device back then. Right, right. And it's not strange, actually, that the first phone book only had names of the person who had a phone, because back then it was preferred to speak to a switchboard operator who would direct calls to those that they wanted to talk to. Well, that kind of explains it, doesn't it? Why the first phone book didn't have phone numbers. I mean, like they didn't really have the buttons to dial back no, then. They didn't need to. <laughs> well, and I thought, I think actually going back or thinking about that, like just picking up the phone and asking somebody to help you is kind of like, that's like really tailored service if you think about it. Right. It's kind of cool. <laughs> like yeah. some, sometimes I wish I had that service today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do with Siri and Alexa. <laughs> well, that's true. I guess we do have a lot more that have gone way beyond th those days. Right. You know, and, and as a tribute in 1922, when Alexander Bell died, uh, the telephones were actually silenced for one minute. Now, I never heard of that history before. Did you? No, I had no idea that that's what they did. It's pretty neat to think about that. Like, that's the tribute that they gave to him uh, because of, his, you know, like, he brought us so much to this world, you know, like, to, even today, you know, like, even though we got, you know, like our cell phones, um, it's, like we're still, we still owe that to him for that invention from way back then. Right, right. So, well, it's time for the contest. Uh, let's go ahead and this is the contest again for the Funday Monday Fund It Forward. And the Fund It Forward, of course, you know, you get to, the winner of this that gets chosen gets to choose the charity of their choice. So let's see who we got. All right. Let's. Who's our winner? Brandon Palmer. Brandon Palmer. Oh, Brandon. Yeah, congratulations, Brandon. I don't know if he's won before. It's so exciting to hear his name. It is. <laughs> so, Brandon, if you're listening to this, um, please contact me. And if I don't hear from you, I will contact you and we'll donate to your charity of choice. So, that's so exciting. So exciting. So here we are in springtime and uh, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful spring. Um, I know Lisa and I both have pictures up. It looks like the snow is melting in, in our pictures, especially with the flowers that you have coming up in your pictures. That's right. Picture. <laughs> That's right. All right, well, have a wonderful day, everybody. And uh, thanks for playing Fun Day Monday. And if you haven't played, I would love for you to get the notification by email. So just make a comment 
uh, with or send me a you know a direct message, and I'd be I'd be happy to add you to our Funday Monday Fund It Forward. We'd love for you to play our our trivia games every single month. So have a wonderful day, everybody. I'm gonna stop the recording. Bye. Bye bye.